Queen Latifah's character, Leslie Wright, actually is really centered throughout the entire movie. She knows who she is when we meet her. She's got a good job, she's got a new house, she's very responsible, she loves her family, she's got great friends. The one thing she doesn't have, she hasn't found that man that she can't live without. But she's moving on with her life, but she's searching for him. And along the way, she meets she meets Scott McKnight, our hero, and he's, a, he's an NBA god. He's LeBron, he's Kobe, he's Dwayne Wade, and Dwight Howard, who we are so lucky to have in the movie as well. And he's a guy who, you know, he's, he has defined himself by basketball, by being a star and being handsome and being rich. And, 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 and in his world, there's a type of woman that goes along with that image. And the journey for him, for, for Common in this movie, is to decide, is he going to follow what's expected of him, or is he going to follow his heart? Morgan Alexander, who's played by the beautiful Paula Patton, and she is Leslie's god sister. And this is a woman who is smart, who's drop-dead gorgeous, who could have made many different choices in her life, but for whatever reason, and, and really, because she doesn't quite believe in herself, she's decided that her future lies in marrying, not only, not only marrying a rich man, but marrying someone of status, someone who can make her somebody, who can, who can define a place for her in society. And at the beginning of our story, because of a, of a coincidental encounter that Leslie has with Scott, Morgan decides to target Scott McKnight. He is her prince, he is the key to her future and then the complications ensue from there.